Hello, students. This is Lesson 16, Session 2, and we are going to be learning about finding the perimeter of a shape today. On these examples, um, we are not always going to know both sides of the length, and so sometimes we may have to find one of those lengths. We are on page 333, so if you turn your math book to that page, we'll get started. <coughs> All right. Kigan builds a fence to make a rectangular dog pen in his backyard. The pen is 30 feet long and 24 feet wide. How much fence does Keegan use to make the dog pen? Well, I'm going to get my word problem card here. What is this problem about? Well, it's about Keegan building a fence. What information is important? Um, it's important to know that the pen is 30 feet long and that it's 24 feet wide. What am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find out how much fence does Keegan use to make the dog pen. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture to help me solve this problem. All right, so I'm going to draw my picture here. It's 30 feet long and 24 feet wide. If this is 30 feet, then I also know that this one up here is 30 feet. And if this is 24 feet, I know that this one over here is 24 feet. Well, so there's several different ways that I can solve this to find the perimeter. The first way is I can add all four sides together. So 30 plus 24 plus 30 plus 24. 30 plus 24 is 54 plus 54. So the P would equal 108. Another way that I can solve for the perimeter is I can do 2 times 30 plus 24. And so then it would be 2 times 54, and then when I do 2 times 54, I get my answer of 108. So either one, ways, either one of those ways are how you can solve for the perimeter. Let's go ahead and turn to page 334. All right, on 334, um, we see here it says, draw a picture to represent the fence. You can use color to highlight the sides that have the same length. Well, we see here that the red sides, the top and the bottom, have the same length, and the blue sides on the left and the right have the same length, or width, I'm sorry. Right here is the first way we solved it, where we just add the four together. And then down here is a, the third way of how they solved this, um, 2L plus 2W. So right here, they have two times the length, because there's two of them, plus two times the width, because there's two of them there. And then they add those together. So if we were going to use this one, it would be 2 times 30, so this would be 60, plus 2 times 24, so that would be 48. And then 60 plus 48 still gets us to 108 feet. Okay. We are going to go ahead and... Um, the one, the main problem that I would like for you to answer on page 335 is which formula do you think is easier and why? So do you think that um, the, the formula, well, technically this one where they do length plus width plus length plus width, this is your third grade version of how to solve for perimeter. So for your fourth grade version, do you prefer the formula where it's like this, length plus width to perimeter equals to length plus width? Or do you prefer the formula that is perimeter equals two times length plus two times width? Because in fourth grade, you need to get used to using one of these two models to solve for perimeter. 
and we're going to do something similar for area. All right, let's go ahead and go to page 336. All right, at the top of 336, um, number six. Bianca puts a fence around a rectangular garden. The garden is 15 feet long by 10 feet wide. How much fence does Bianca use? Show your work. When we're doing perimeter, it's still always a good idea to go ahead and draw a picture, but I'm going to solve this one using one of the formulas. So right here it says that it's 15 feet long and 10 feet wide. So for this one, I'm going to use the formula where we do um, perimeter equals 2 times the length plus... 2 times the width. So if I do 2 times the length, the length is 15. So 15 plus 2 times the width, and the width is 10. Okay, so 2 times 15 is 30, plus 2 times 10 is 20. When I add those together, I get 50 feet. Now on this one, Michael glues craft sticks around the edges of a rectangular poster. He uses a total of 14 craft sticks. He uses five craft sticks on each long side of the poster. How many craft sticks does he use for each short side of the poster? Show your work. Okay, so we're doing a, we have a poster, a rectangular poster, and he uses 14 craft sticks total. He uses five craft sticks on the long sides, each of the long sides. How many craft sticks does he use for the shorter side? So that's our question. How many does he use for the shorter sides? Well, if this is five and that's five, that means I can subtract ten from the total, which leaves me four. But it's not four on one side because there's two sides. So four divided by two equals two. So it takes two craft sticks for each side. And a way you can check your work is you can add these up. And if you add these up and they equal 14, then your answer is correct. 5 plus 5 is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Right, number 8 on page 336. A rectangle has a length of 17 inches and a width of 13 inches. What is the perimeter in inches of the rectangle? Show your work. Okay, so let's draw our rectangle. It has a length of 17 inches and a width of 13 inches. So if 17 is there, I know that 17 is here and 13 is here. But I'm going to use a formula to solve this. So... I'm going to use the formula where I do P equals 2 length times width. Or I'm sorry, length plus width, not times. Length plus width. So my length is 17. And my width is 13. So 17 plus 13 would be 20. So it's 30. So 2 times 30 is 60 inches is my total perimeter. All right, let's go ahead and move on to page 337. This page will be a good page for you to try on your own to see if you are understanding what we are learning or if you need extra, um, extra work on it. Okay, on page 337, right here it says, A rectangular photo has a length of 10 inches and a width of 8 inches. Fill in the blanks to show two ways to find the perimeter of the photo. So um, it's kind of like it, we're doing the problem two times here. But it, this is one of the formulas. And then this is the other formula. 
So it says here the length is 10 inches. So anywhere where we see the L, we're putting a 10. And anywhere where we see a W, we're putting an 8. So there's a W and a W. Now we're ready to solve our problems. So 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 8 is 16. 20 plus 16 is 36. So the perimeter is 36 inches. Now if I solve it over here, we've got to do 10 plus 8 first, which is 18. And then we do 2 times 18, which is 36. So no matter which way we solve a um, problem for perimeter, we're going to get the same answer. Jason's rectangular computer screen is 50 centimeters across and 36 centimeters high. What is the perimeter? Okay, so we've got a computer screen. It's 50 centimeters across and 36 centimeters high. So I'm going to use whichever formula that I prefer to use. I kind of like this one over here. I feel like there's less steps. I mean, it, I feel like this one's quicker. So I'm going to do 2 times 50 plus 36. And 50 plus 36 is 86. So 2 times 86. Now the only problem is, is with doing this is sometimes we get a big number and then I may end up having to do a multiplication problem like this. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 8 is 16 plus one more is 17. So my answer is 172 centimeters. Let's go ahead and turn to page 338. All right. A rectangular garden has a width of 90 feet. The perimeter of the garden is 500 feet. What is the length of the garden? Okay, so right here, it tells us we don't know L. So I'm going to do 2 times 90 because I know the answer to that. And so 2 times 90 is 180. And so then if I take 500 minus 180, I'm going to get this answer right here. I'm going to do it over here so I have more room. So I get 320. But it's not 320. It's half of that because we have to divide it by 2. So you see here, 320 divided by 2 equals L. So then if I do 320 divided by 2, let's do 100. So minus 200, which leaves us 120. And let's do 60. So it's 160. All right, Amy has a ribbon that is 36 inches long. Tell whether she has enough ribbon to wrap around the perimeter of a picture frame for each frame with the given shape inside. So first is a square and the side lengths are nine each. So it would be nine times four equals 36. So the answer is yes. A rectangle that is 18 inches by 10 inches. So 2 times 18 plus 2 times 10. So that would be 36 plus 20. That's going to be too much, too big. A rectangle that's 12 by 24. Well, 24 plus 24 is 48, so that one's definitely no. A square that has side lengths that are 6 inches. 6 times 4 equals 24, so the answer is yes. And go ahead and try this last one on your own, and I will see you back for lesson three.